Everything about the pregnancy was normal until January 9th. Uh, Elizabeth was in a lot of pain. Uh, tests showed that she had high protein in her urine, and we were sent straight to the hospital. Uh, everybody there had very serious faces. Uh, as it turns out, the placenta was poisoned in my wife's liver, and our world had turned upside down in one day. The doctor walked into my room and delivered the most devastating news that I've ever received. He said that my blood work had showed preeclampsia and HELP syndrome, and that I would need to deliver as soon as possible. And I knew that at 23 weeks, our daughter had very little chance of surviving. We were praying that we would be able to make it to 26 weeks in order to give our daughter the best chance possible of surviving, and I made it four more days. But that night, um, everything began to go downhill pretty quickly. Some complications arose and my lungs began to fill with fluid. So my doctor came in and told us that we needed to deliver, that if we didn't, that I could die from it. I, I didn't care that it would cost me my life. I just wanted to give everything so that my daughter could live. Um, but it all came down to that either we would deliver or we would both die. She only lived for 45 minutes. She was held and loved her entire life. She never felt pain or heartache. All she ever felt was cherished, because she was. I was holding Bella when she died. Uh, I had to hold to the fact that all things are from Jesus and through him and to him. And I had the amazing privilege of handing my daughter back to Jesus. He never promised me that life would be easy. Uh, he never promised me that I wouldn't have problems. Uh, he never promised me that storms wouldn't come. Uh, what he did promise me is that he would be with me through them all. And one day, the Lord showed me how to love with my whole heart and how to lose with my whole heart. And there was this one morning that I was praying and I was crying out to the Lord, asking Him why we were in this, why we were feeling this. And the Holy Spirit very gently and quietly whispered into my heart, I know how you feel. I watched my son die too. And so in that time, I surrendered to the pain never belonged to me. She always belonged to Jesus. No matter how shaken up things get, uh, no matter how shook up we got, every storm that we would go through, He was always there with us.